What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And on this video, I talk about a controversial income report from Walmart. So I got a lot to share with you about this, but some people might think this is controversial. Some might not. However, I just wanted to just show you exactly what's going on in Walmart right now. But I'm fired up about this. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about a controversial income report and the reason why it might be seen as controversial but uh, before I even jump into that I just want to remind everybody that what I'm about to show you is the results of an automated store that my team runs so if you want more information on how to do that then my email is below reach out to me I'll be more than happy to jump on a call and we also do have options for people that want to kind of learn how to do some of this themselves and they can be their own manager so my company acts as a store manager for you and tries to put all this together that way you don't have to do a lot of the heavy lifting well we can also help you do some of that yourself so let's talk about that first and the results from this particular store and why this income report is so controversial so you'll notice that this store is about two months old so if you can't see that that's the case it's about two and a half months old now and it had a pretty decent income report for the second month 37.73 up quite a bit from the previous month, 700 orders, 2488 in profit the month before, now 1223 orders, almost $4,000 in profit, 37% ROI. So why so controversial? Uh, in total, the amount collected on this store was 16,800 on month two, on month one it was 10,000. So pretty good improvement in general. Decent overall profit considering 4,000. That's almost 40% margin. So that's pretty damn good. Why controversial? Well, it's because midway into this period, and it was maybe about two straight months into this, this store is the first store that we've had that has been suspended in a long time. Now, here's the interesting thing. This was a very unusual suspension, but it happened. So what, what do we do? We adapt and we evolve and we basically have got to get the store back, which is not a problem because we have a fantastic team, a fantastic suspensions guy who was able to pretty much instantly get the store back. He broke the appeal the same day and the store was approved to be back. So I'm gonna show you how that looked here in just a minute. Okay, so here we are, and I submitted the actual appeal that was written by our guy on the 28th, which was the day that it was suspended. And on the 30th, after reviewing it, Walmart took about two days and instantly notified us, hey, the store's reinstated. So we assumed it was gonna take a couple hours as it usually does. And so guess what? Crickets were happening. But again, we got the unusual at 2.35 in the morning on the 30th, same day, stores reinstated but then guess what again crickets happened and so what wound up happening well no response from them for days and then we again opened up a ticket with them and so what do we have to do we had to open up another ticket with them on the fifth and finally they let it through so took us a whole cup it took us a whole two days or we instantly sent the appeal through got reinstated but somebody dropped the ball and didn't reinstate the store on their end so it was literally turned off so basically it kind of conveniently almost happened on a period when it had to be paid so why why is this so controversial well because the numbers say that the store is doing fantastic which they are but if you want to think about it they this particular store was owed 13k during this period of time so they basically got to hold that 13k a whole other two more weeks and the store got reinstated the 5th, which means the store was just paid out on the 15th for anything that was earned during that hold period. So again, can be controversial looked at like that because of the fact that even though sometimes like this income report, like I just showed this income report, it was suspended. And so technically the money wasn't collected. And had we not had a good suspension guy on hand, then this money could have essentially been tied up for up to 180 days, which I want to remind you, 180 days is a maximum amount of time that Walmart will hold your money if you get suspended or terminated. Whereas Amazon are relentless. They will hold it for years if they can. They will hold it forever. They are borderline criminal, but Walmart doesn't do that. Walmart will hold it for 180 days. Then you have the right to request it and they will release it. So worst case scenario with Walmart, you get stuck with 180 days, unless you have a terrific suspension guy, which in this case, mine was able to get us back immediately. So the lesson from this can be learned is that nothing is bulletproof. There is no strategy that will 100% avoid any suspension. Anyone that tells you that 
or otherwise is full of it. The only thing that can hold true is you will get suspended if you sell on Amazon. It's sort of like when you're doing business in this world, at some point there's a pretty high chance that you will get sued for something. And it's the same thing with, with Walmart. At some point, if you are selling e-commerce, you will, something will happen. Something will get shut down, a merchant account, a account with Walmart, account with Amazon, account with anywhere, or something will happen to where you get chargebacks or there will always some be something happening. I can't stress that enough. And you just have to be ready to evolve and to adapt. Those that evolve and adapt will survive. Those that choose not to will end up quitting and then crying that this didn't work or that didn't work. So it's important to have a good suspension guy on hand or no good suspension guy. I do have one, so if you do need one, my email is below to help you avoid those times when you have no idea how you're gonna get your money back. So if you are suspended, that is certainly something we can help with. Terminations is a whole other thing, but suspensions for sure. And then lastly, even on suspensions where you get reinstated, as you just saw, even Walmart will drop the ball sometimes and completely forget about it. So you've got to have somebody on your team or on your side that knows exactly what they're doing. So it becomes very important. Good thing for us, we do, and we were able to immediately get this reinstated despite the wait with Walmart and then evolve and then continue go. So again, suspensions are happening for a number of reasons still in Walmart, but they are a lot more understanding when you know exactly what to submit and you know who to submit it to. And again, I can't stress that enough. That only comes with experience and having been in the game for years and years like we have on Walmart. So again, my email is below. I wanted to be short and sweet on this, but in case you want to know your options with full automation or you want to somehow be involved in it, that is also an option. So send me an email below. I'll be more than happy to talk to you. Other than that, questions and comments go below. I always personally answer those and I'll see you guys next time.